Hey guys, this is Chris Summer's second year. Now today, I'm going to react to a fairly easy, fairly off parents exposed to. Now, I've already seen the first one. It was pretty funny, pretty accurate. And I, I was astounded. So, let's see. This one's going to involve Chloe. For those of y'all don't know who Chloe is, she's a new, she's one of the new characters on the show. Well, I'm going to let Berlizzi explain it. So, here you go. And Seriously, Christ. Yeah. If I'm right, this show came out in 2013. Are you serious? Hurricane. When are my fans going? Yo, I said I had a shirt like that once. I dropped it so much it was tight around my damn neck. I literally said I was like a butter bro. Like a little, uh, out of here. Like a hat. Is Why is she so happy? Why it look like she let So that's related to the dentist. Not like the dentist's right niece or daughter we never face. seen till like now. That's probably why my dude pissed off. F this buzz. Yo, low key? Why it look like each character is on a different drug, man? Here you go with these same drugs. Take me off some kush. Brock is off some ecstasy. And she is off some damn word sperm. Why did that police officer give her some of his drugs? Why is it just these kids on this small ass? At this point, we're like, if I can take it, don't come over and piss this, I want some shit. Timmy's still an average kid. Timmy's still an average kid. Nigga, what? This show came out in like 2001. It's the same group of kids doing these. Oh, yeah, we're only in 2001. Nigga, graduated? Look, come on! Nickelodeon, y'all did this. All y'all did was add three more people to the bus. And, and like a these ginger, gonna die. Like, why are Asian kid, and one kid was too old to even be on the bus. Why are they only fucking with Timmy though? What did he do to y'all? Is it because he has color and the rest of y'all are boring and dull as f? That's a message for life, kids. Don't ever let nobody put you down for being you. Standing out, bitch. F that. Stick up for Timmy a pussy though. I would have been soft. <laughs> Like, hit that damn. Why, why is your head the same size as that ball? I would have bounced your shit on I'm the not bottom. I would have hit that, that kid by now. Come on, Timmy. Bobby Wee, bitch. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Simpsons. Fish never heard me that in Spanish? Okay, I, I know y'all heard that demonic ass voice when I, re when I reversed it on her ass. Yeah, I think it's supposed to because. What's with her saying that's reversed or slowed down? It's like a monster tumor neck ass. It's proud to show her off. Is that the reason he has an ear on his neck? It's been a long time. I think it'd be weird if it was on his head. I gotta roast you. Do I start with these damn... What are those? Are these like leggings? Or are they like a, a shoe, boot, pants, combo shit? If these are leggings, what the f*** are up with them feet, bro? You got like damn lobster feet or crab hands for feet. Oh, ugly ass. You got a perfect arch though. Or do I get on you because your smile is almost touching your hairline? How do you have teeth or brain, you psychotic bastard? With that ear. Are you eating sound, bitch? Your neck looks like a your neck looks like a big ass eagle just came and bit your shit right on the back and left you with that with that nasty shit. What is that? How is your Adam's apple on the back of your shit? Who are you even looking at? Timmy S! How did you get in his house? How did she Where get were his what? parents when you put up this big ass curtain? No, what did he 
you get they that crown. They trust you like that? Away. Who would trust McLovin' daddy like that? Fuck! No, he, he's actually in front of his class introducing Chloe to the rest of the students. But she got there's too. so much wrong with this show. I'm, I'm going to get on some intellectual shit in a minute, but just let I'm me... I'm going to have my own sauce on this afterwards. Chloe, I would get on your high-ass shoe, but for one, you don't have one. I'm, I'm not looking at all. You but for two, it ain't even about the characters this time. This is about Nickelodeon. It's bigger than that. It's worth both. Well, that was a very good ass for now, but I'm coming back. Trust. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I only saw the first episode when she came out. Damn! That's as far as I got. What kind of rubbery ass. Watch out, watch out. Oh, okay, he did. Out of all the things <laughs> that Disney has wished for this show, how come this idiot never wished for some new teeth? This motherfucker wanted to be a really? squirrel so bad. What? Put that tongue back in your mouth. Nobody yeah. is impressed by that wobbly, jiggly shit you're doing. This is a kid show, Timothy. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. How does he not get tricky? He can do that what with his tongue. Is that? Come on, bro. I bet y'all five balls say Trixie knew he can do that tongue. That swoop down on the front like a damn jiggling head. Come on, y'all. Don't crush it. You're doing the f***ed up part. Don't you have to go to that the band with Shorty? Timothy has the shirt. A very shortage? What? Come Did all the kids go to... Did yeah, all the kids go to that? Did all the fairies go to China? Steroid ass free. My problem is with Nickelodeon. So since I know Viacom blocked my first pair of the Odd Parents video, I know y'all are watching this. So listen up. You know what I think could have been a better explanation than a stupid ass fairy shortage? Maybe Nickelodeon writers, Jorgen could have said that that there are, I don't know, retired fairies who can't the, be gone. What is that saying anyway? Or maybe that there are fairies who are still in training. But a shortage? That is some stupid ass <laughs> compound dying, no, 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 no. Like, come on. Y'all have added two more fairies to the show. You got Pooh, and then you got this stupid ass dog. Look at how stupid this dog looks. <laughs> Let like this Dudley. show die already. <laughs> That's Dudley's fairy. Get her? You don't know what's going on. Talk about this should be fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where are her eyes going? At this moment, right? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Up is fun. Timmy, you don't want this trash ass nigga no more. Trust me, old traitor ass. Wanda and them homie ass parents. <laughs> well, what was that Yo, what was with so every cartoon before 2010? The girl had the most triangular oh, and his tits. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my gosh! Look, y'all, Wanda is clearly unsatisfied with Cosmo Sex Game. He got that limp shrink going on. And if y'all remember from the first exposed video, he's not into shit. That's okay, I'm not judging him. They're, they're just uncompatible. But if you remember, she's always had this nigga Juan Pissimo trying to holler since the moment he came on the show. But look at his eyes. Does that remind you of anything? Look! Proof and one beastie mode got the same eyes! Okay, I'm just gonna say this now. I will, this series would have made sense, but due to the fact that I saw the whole movie special they had with Proof being born, I knew that only male fairies could get pregnant. And so if it was the reverse way, if it was like the anti fairy way, when the female gets pregnant, yeah, this, yeah, I would believe that Cosmo might not be the father. But due to the fact that Cosmo gave birth to it, you know, it's only one way. I, I don't know. Who is his baby? Why you cheated? <laughs> Yo, he saw the episode, man. We all saw that special. He, he, can, he can't boy. That's still the phenomenon. This Adam get the fuck. Get the, what the hell's my... What even is this? I'm just going to show y'all the trailer that they threw at us to explain why Chloe is even here. Life is perfect. Wait, is this his birthday? So, they didn't do many since she came in. Now, I'm not 
letting this shit slide. You know I had to go do my research and get to the bottom of this bitch. Not about you, Chloe. It's about the flow. We don't know much about her. All we know is she's from a random ass town. Chloe used to live in this big unnamed city, right? Of course. And then a big ass monster just starts attacking her for no reason. So she ends up moving to Dimsdale, right next to Timmy, and then enrolls in Mr. Crawford's ass classroom, right? But get this. Chloe is an enthusiastic, outgoing, what the fuck is, is that some kind of gold brownie? Right? She's determined. She's optimistic. This b- is perfect, y'all. Why are y'all ruining this show by bringing in this perfect ass character who doesn't even deserve fairies? This, this well, I'll be okay with it, but they never gave her fairies. She, she would just add on characters. Who we can't tell his new friend? Yeah, it'll work. But now she's getting a fairy. First of all, and what's why fairy? she gotta be a new student? If her town got destroyed, have Timmy crazy ass parents adopt yeah. her ass. That gives her more of a reason to share godparents. Second, why? I thought it was his family always gets money out of fucking her. Make her ass more hungry, realistic, connect with the kids. Why the f is someone personal? <laughs> little John. Third, make her ass deal with Nikki crazy ass, who if y'all would have let stay, probably would have charged Timmy's parents twice as much for two children. Wait, they got rid of Nikki? They them twice as hard. When she can't take anymore, then she gets the fairies. Oh, fairy. They could have even made a dope ass spin off with this dude Chester broke ass. They gave him an episode. I said he had you know, a whole episode and he had a whole series. So much a whole, potential. Uh, special. When Nickelodeon is running the show, he's the fucking ground. Butch and Fred, y'all dropped the ball. Timmy, I'm sorry, bro. Your show is trash. And Vicky, oh my gosh, they turned her. Okay, I. Viacom, do better. <laughs> Shoot me there, bitch. The fuck? Flex on his ass, dude. Alright, man. We're not worried on this channel. Like I said, that album I forgot it came out in 2001. So this show has been out for 15 years. That, and all right now, it's Nickelodeon's second longest reigning show behind Spongebob. And those of y'all who don't know, there is like a rumor going around that Spongebob might be canceled. Which, I don't, I don't know why they'll cancel it. It does not make sense why they'll cancel Spongebob. Of all things, why cancel Spongebob? I know Nickelodeon had a lot of shows that came to God, but somehow, Nickelodeon, somehow Spongebob Squarepants and The Family of Parents are the two shows that Stayed alive through the whole new with old chase there. And in fact, they're still making new shows. I think the most recent one was the Squirt and Spongebob Squarepants movie that came out last year. Came out late last year in 2015. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was a good. That was a pretty good movie, especially like the ending with the rap battle, but this ain't about Spongebob. It's about the uh, fairy locker. No. I think the reason, like, I'm mean, uh, still like, Chloe got fairy locker. Well, it's like, I'm not, oh, I hope you'll see that. She's very, she's kind, she's giving, she wants to share with everyone. And the fact is, every time she tries to help, someone gets hurt or something happens. So that's the reason why people get fairy. That's why the fairy so is. So there's no so there's no telling what kind of kids have it. Fairies. If you look at that, there's another character that has fairies. That's uh more of a, the risk kid, Randy or some shit. He he's one of the most god uh fairy god child. You know from his story, he had it because his parents weren't really around him much. So he acts out because he doesn't get much attention from his parents. So that's why he has fairies. If you all saw Fairy Isle, y'all see that Chester, he got fairies after his home was taken away. His dad was went to jail for bankruptcy. And Chester, 
look at it, of all the characters should have babies. Trail Hall, you may or may not be poor. That's the best right. Cranberry. And we don't know what his dad looked like. We all saw his dad's face once. That's because of Fairy Isle. And see what the wishes he makes. He wishes for a better life for him and his dad. So I say him get. So I say him get Fairy. I feel like he deserves one. Chloe, she's quote unquote perfect. There's nothing wrong with her. This fact that nothing goes wrong when she's trying to help others. Uh, for me, I feel like this is a Dragon Ball C thing with Trunks and Goten. They don't get tails when they're born. I feel like that's it. I think the creators forgot that only miserable kids can get fairies, not just any kid. And look at it. Like, what makes that thing? Because that have been the most logical thing. Like, her, her home was destroyed and she somehow did lose her parents. Her being adopted would make the most sense. Well, uh, yes. So, Timmy is so far the only character to have two fairies. If you look at every other grandkid that has been shown, he's the only one to have two fairies. Now, besides that one big movie they had, it was just a demonstration of the presentation, he's the only one to have two fairies, which I never knew how that worked, because it would appear that married couples can be the same grandkid. Now, I don't know if you guys share full of his fairies or if you just share one. But I'm trying to figure out who is fair. I feel like Cosmo would go with Chloe better. Because Fat Chloe is free spirited. So it's Cosmo. So they would make a better match than one of those more free spirited. I'm going to try to make Timmy look like he's just a whiny little bitch. If y'all ever saw that, he, was, he just. Stand the door, he whined, he knelt, he did that tongue thing that Trixie would like. Wink, wink, no, no, so she knew about that. There we go. Got him. Yeah, have you got there? Hmm. I mean, for 15 years, it's a lot of changes still. I think if they're trying to keep up with the times, Doing okay, especially with animation getting better, everything gets more mature. But they still kept it classic at the end. No. I don't know how close going to impact the show. So, I didn't know Vicky left, so I got we gotta see that. How when Vicky left. But they didn't age. It didn't show that the ain't no one how old Vicky is sixteen. Well, that means she's at least a, she's a sophomore or junior in high school, and she ain't graduated yet. Timmy's still in fifth grade. That should be. So if they wanted to change something, they should have had him go to middle school, which they should have did. And it just, then Chloe being a new student, just had like Chloe's from a different elementary school, and he just happened to meet at that same location, at the same school. I mean, there's so many ways. That could have been done. The fact he's been at the same location, the same school, I feel like they should move from the middle school. Now, I'm not sure what that would do for Mr. Crocker. Well, I'm seeing what's just keep some Mr. Crocker still safe. That's why he's still there. Maybe most real stuff, so I haven't seen him much. Yeah, that's uh, Chester's, if I'm very honest, it's the last episode where they ever. Freaked up of a child being miserable. That's the most real. Now, I'm thinking, whatever happened to the dog, the very dog, he just disappeared for a while. He's not even, you don't even see him in the trailer anymore. He like run away or something. He just disappears. Um, I feel like the show is starting to. So the show is starting to go down. He always starts. The matter doesn't make those things much to do. I think this show is starting to slowly come to the end. I see, I believe it's still like a couple seasons left, same with Spongebob. But 
for a show that's been running for over two years, canceling Swamp Ball or Trail Rams doesn't seem like a good idea. But those who show me have such a big fan base as they are. Those have been around since my generation was kids. Since the, the 90s, I was born in 97. Supposed to came out two years later in 99. I was just a toddler when it came out. But everybody around my age, two, three years old, we grew up. We grew up with SpongeBob. Then we grew up with Fairly Odd Parents. Just look at it. Fairly Odd Parents and Nickelodeon. And we got a SpongeBob or Nickelodeon's only two kids' shows that are part of both the old era and the new era. The only two shows, and I believe it's two, it's the, if I'm right, it is the, let's see, the third and the fourth longest cartoon series. The Simpsons running since the 80s. They had uh, South Park, I think it came out in 97, 99, so now my, see, it's SpongeBob 99, Hot Bears 2001, then you had Futurama, and we had, other shows that are still running, like Family Guy. And, and Family Guy has been running. I'm not sure what Family Guy came out, but right now it's the five longest running shows. Look at South Park. It's an adult, like, it's an adult, like, show. So it's Family Guy. They're more, they're more for adults than kids. Like, <coughs> Simpsons, they're more like teenage humor. But they're still a family show. We're talking about family shows. It goes the Simpsons, first one, then Fairly Odd Parents. Then the ones where they get friendly shows. Now, if you think of all time, it would be Batman and Scooby Doo. But I don't want to count it because those shows, those shows have been rebooted again and again. They have been not running. Scooby Doo came in the 60s, was not long, came back in the 90s. Three different ones from Scooby Doo. Scooby Pup Nate Scooby Doo. And the one ahead, even later. The most recent being Mystery Incorporated and now the cool Scooby Doo. It's been rebooted so many times, but it's changing with the era. And now But I'm gonna get on that later. We'll do a video about that later on. Um They could have done so much with introducing Chloe. Just making her a new student from a random city. Not much of an introduction. That's like half of characters on most shows. They just show up from they're just a, a new kid. Nothing, nothing new, nothing old. If it is true that they're canceling Spongebob, the possibility that they might be canceling Fair Off Parents Like I hope, <coughs> I hope they don't finish. Because I hear regular shows being canceled. This is regular shows last season. But they want to finish it on their own terms. So there is going to be like a series finale. I'm not sure how it's going to happen. I'm not going to be here when it happens. I'm going to be in NTC training for the point. I'm not going to be here for that. So when I come back, I'm going to look it up and read it, see if I can pull it up, react to it, how they will end it. And I pay my dues to uh, another show that's uh, another old new era show. But I see they came out in 2010 also. Remember, see, the real show came out in 2011, 2012, on on a few new era cartoons. Eight seasons, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm gonna look up more for this family offering, see how they go play it out. But there has been no updates about them canceling their offerings right now. Because once they cancel SpongeBob and their offerings, there'll be no more new episodes, but Nicktoons will still show. Team Nick will still show. Because Team Nick and Nicktoons, they show all the old shows that they canceled that have been discovered. They just went at the one one the LT Gray. Roma, Family Children, and they still show like 
with the FD, they still show Gravity Fall. They still show things for even though both of them shows ended this year. They still show late last year, earlier this year. They still show them. But then they get canceled. That just means no one will listen, but Nickelodeon still going to show them. And they still going to make money off of them. And who knows if they might get a spinoff. Like Milo's, Murphy's Laws? The way it's drawn, the way it's the way it's drawn, it's very similar to Phoenix at first. I believe that's just that's the, the Phoenix first spinoff. So I hope this does create a spinoff for SpongeBob and Timmy Turner. Hope there is a spinoff episode off now. Hope there's something that comes out that close later to him. Like somebody gets inspired and it makes another show, it's a spinoff or a reboot. Like a good reboot. I'm not not like the Teen Titans Go the Spot Phone Go shit they got had come out. A good reboot. Oh, it's B and B goes good. Do not compare to Yeah, y'all. You know, the two of the longest long the stop shows in the history of the world. I I will give up on cable. I will give up on cartoons, whatever. So, this has been Prips so in a second. I'll see you guys when I see you. I'm out.